y ahora vamos a hablar de K1 Speed la franquicia de go-karts eléctricos que acaba de abrir una nueva sede aquí en Miami ya tiene 20 en todo el país vamos a hablar con Ken All Day de K1 Speed aquí en Miami Juan Cal, uh, thank you for having us here at K1 Sports in Miami the new store for, uh, for this uh, fabulous franchise we just uh, did a couple laps here and, and this is amazing so, oh, wonderful, glad you enjoyed it that. So for our audience, can you tell us a little bit about K1 Speed, please? Yeah, definitely. K1 Speed was uh, founded in 2003 in uh, Carlsbad, California. Uh, now our corporate office has moved to Irvine, California. But since 2003, in the short 11 years, we've actually opened up now 20 centers nationwide and soon to be 22 with Denver and Atlanta coming on board. So pretty unique concept because this is electric gold karting. That is true, exactly. Typically, go-karting is uh, affiliated with gasoline uh, outdoor. Knowing that this is indoor, uh, of course, safer, no carbon monoxide. Yeah. Uh, electric go-karting is becoming uh, pretty big nationwide with K1 Speed. Yeah. And uh, so let's talk about, I mean, there are so many things, I don't know where to start, but let's talk about the, the go-karts, okay. electric. I mean, they go really, really fast. I mean, like electric regular cars go fast, we know, because the torque is already there. So this is the same here, but in the smaller size, but very powerful cars. That is correct. Our top speed on the uh, go-karts are is 45 to about 48 miles an hour. But when you consider that the size of the car and the, the weight of the car, that translates into a lot of speed. It does. Uh, the motor itself is about 21 horsepower, uh, a lot of torque. Uh, we run on a concrete uh, surface here instead of a, like a black top. Or a, so you definitely have that grip of the tires to uh, propel yeah. you forward. And uh, so um, this uh, new facility here in South Florida, uh, tell us a little bit about the track and, uh, and all, everything you do here, please. Well, you know what the thing is, is K K1 Speed, typically nationwide, we either have one Uh, track facilities or two track facilities, depending on the size of the building. Uh, here in Miami, Florida, also Hollywood, which is about 20 miles north of us, we're fortunate enough to have two tracks here in the building. Uh, again, concrete tracks uh, with the state-of-the-art uh, barrier systems, so there's no incidents uh, or accidents that occurs uh, with injury. Uh, but yeah, it's just super fun. Uh, you drove the cart. Yeah. You know, it's uh, thrilling, uh, an adrenaline rush. And the more people you have out there on the, uh, the track, uh, the more competitive it becomes. I guess. And uh, go karting is uh, it's always been uh, the first step for a professional drivers. So, I mean, you, you can actually learn a lot here. I mean, like for little kids to like, maybe if they don't go professional, but just like to know how to drive, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, if you look historically at all your professional drivers down the board, they started off as youngsters, as children, racing go-karts and uh, motorcycles, dirt bikes, and eventually moved it into, uh, you know, the professional arena. And uh, so I already seen uh, little kids coming in, like, what's the age limit or like anybody can come here? How, how, how does that work? Yes, anyone can come here. It's not really by age limit. It's about height. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, exactly. You have to be at least uh, 48 inches uh, in height, between 40 and 48 inches in height to drive the junior carts, which is for the kids, and 48 inches and above to drive the adult car. Yeah. And uh, so you give the, like, for, let's say somebody that's never done it, first time here, what, what's the process for that? Well, typically uh, it's what we call the arrive and drive. Uh, they go through a little briefing, as you guys did earlier, in reference to telling them this is the gas, this is the brake, uh, these are the flag systems that we use in case of, uh, you know, any bumping or anything of course. But we also do one-on-one, -on -one, uh, like, training. And when school lets out, I believe in June, June or July, we'll be doing the summer camp program oh, okay. for, for kids. And this goes around all over the country? Yes, nationwide and all of our centers, all, all 20 of our centers nationwide. So nowadays when all the connectivity, internet and all that, you have a pretty cool website where you can like uh, compete against everybody in the country too. Most right? definitely, yeah. K1speed.com, www.k1speed.com. You visit the website and at the top right corner it says to uh, look at your, your, uh, your stats or where you are in the, uh, um, the board yeah. in reference to points. Right now, our top two guys is a uh, father and son. Uh, <laughs> having fun, huh? You're having fun. You have uh, Clive Upton and Taylor Upton, and they compete uh, against each other. And, uh, the, yeah, they are our top guys right now nationwide. So besides, like, the, the extreme fun uh, on the track, I mean, these facilities are, like, 
like really really high class i mean like yeah, you see everything so. like decorations are pretty amazing like you 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 thing you're entering like a museum or some kind of thing like that exactly that's what we really want to give that overall experience that you're coming into a professional racing um arena yeah uh, so that museum description that you you just mentioned that's really what it is yeah. from the front door to the track uh through the pit cafe where we serve you know our pizza hot dogs pretzels nachos and cheese popcorn um All the artwork that you see on the wall, plus the the tires and rims and hoods. Actual and cars, too. Actual racing yeah, actual cars. Yeah, actual cars. Yeah, we want you to get the overall feel that you're in a professional uh, environment. Yeah. So uh, going back to the to the racing, um, you have like uh, individual classes. Like someone who wants to really get serious about this, can can they come here and train, or or how, how does that work? Yes, we do. Nationwide, we. You know, all of our facilities, our employees, our track guys have been trained on how to uh, coach, develop, and, and train uh, independent individual drivers. Uh, now, knowing that we are a new facility, only opened up eight days ago here in Miami. The one in Miami, yeah. Right. We need to go ahead and pinpoint those um, uh, crew members or employees that we're going to, you know, send through the training themselves to be able to train our guests and customers coming in. So from what from you saw me driving, uh, do I qualify for like <laughs> for what training? Actually, or? <laughs> actually, you know what you did very well. You handled you handled speed four quite well. Yeah, but uh, the thing about uh, go karting is very difficult. I mean, it's very very high level of uh, technique that you have to learn to really master this this thing, right? Most definitely. The thing is that you get 14 laps around the track, uh, but that 14 laps can seem very long, especially with your overall endurance. Yeah. Because it's not just the speed in the go-kart that you're traveling, but also uh, your forearm strength, your shoulder, your chest, everything. You're moving a lot. In you're the moving a lot. And the thing is, is that the more you anticipate uh, the curves and the straightaways and things of that nature, the better you're going to be as a driver. Yeah, okay. Let's talk a little bit about prices. Uh, how, how does that the structure go? Well, prices, I mean, ranges. Uh, if, you, if you're going to uh, buy or purchase one race, you're looking at $19.99 for one race. Also, you have to pay a $6 license fee, which the license is good for one year. Uh, most individuals, of course, see the benefit in buying or purchasing uh, multiple races. Like right now, we have five races for $75 or eight races for $100. So, uh, yeah, most definitely if you buy more races, you get a better deal, a better price. Yeah. So that's like uh, you're talking and I'm thinking about like cool ideas. Like, for example, a family can come here, a group of friends can come in and they do their own race. I mean, their own little definitely. tournament, right? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, keep in mind, we do have two party rooms here in the facility, all, in all of our facilities nationwide. And we do uh, birthday parties and corporate parties, events. Uh, yeah, just all fun. And we, we also cater those events as well. So if uh, that idea that I, that I said, like, let's say I bring my friends and let's say, okay, we're going to go racing and we're going to, like, do our own, like, little championship. Can we do that? Yes. Matter of fact, we have what they call Grand Prix. We have the Daytona. We have the Indy, uh, Indianapolis. Um, yeah. Uh, that, you're talking about fun. Yeah. <laughs> When you have a group of individuals getting together and all of them have the going competitive, fast, spirit, yeah. go, competitive spirit and going fast, Uh, it becomes a lot of fun. It's going to be fun. So you have one of your, uh, all of uh, your artwork on, the, on, on display here. There's one that caught my attention when I was driving, actually. So, like, this becomes addictive. <laughs> it, it really does. The more that you do this, uh, thinking of going to the movies and going to dinner or whatever or playing golf, that becomes second and third choice because you really do get addicted to this. It's fun. It's um, uh, thrilling, exciting. And just uh, adrenaline pumping. Um, yeah. and, and going back to the kids that I'm uh, just seeing here, like this is Saturday morning here at the Disney facility. I've seen a lot of young kids like starting to, to get into, the, into this place. This is a very good way also for parents to like start kids how to drive, right? Definitely. I'm glad you actually brought that up because as you know, uh, especially here in South Florida, also nationwide, um, there is a lot of... Um, Uh, how would you say, aggressive drivers on our streets. <laughs> for for uh, South Florida, you can put all of those yeah, that together. Is, that I mean, is true. I think we have the worst, uh, I mean, I actually certified that we have, like, the worst drivers in the nation. Well, I yeah, think. definitely. Well, you know, the thing is, I think South Florida is, uh, I think, the capital of road rage, as they say. 
But to your point, yeah, to have children, kids, young kids come in and learn the rules of the track or rules of the road, so to speak, and teach them uh, proper driving etiquette, uh, yeah, it's definitely important. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Ken, again, for, for your having us here. And, uh, I mean, your last name, I think, is All Day? All Day. A L. Is that, like, is that like an artistic name? Because it, like, fits this uh, perfectly well, for this activity. Well, you know what the thing is? is that I'm Irish and also uh, Cherokee Indian. Oh, okay. So, uh, I guess that's the Indian name of just All Day. Well, we can do this all day, <laughs> definitely, here. That is true. And all night. <laughs> all night. So, uh, typically, going back to that, how, how are the schedules? Like, these places are open, like, t till late or how? Yes. Typically. Well, you know what? Monday through Thursday, we open at 12 noon, and we close at 10 p.m. That is Monday through Thursday. Fridays, we open at 11 a.m. and close at 11 p.m. Wow. Saturday, we open at 10 a.m. and close at 11 p.m., and Sundays, it is 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Exactly. Kind of a shorter day on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, but uh, a lot of fun. Well, thank you very much again, and we maybe go out and do a little bit more racing here. Definitely. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Again, uh, for our audience, uh, the website, and uh, for more information and everything else. Definitely. www.k1speed.com. For reservations for parties, eight or more, uh, call the 1-800 uh, the number there. Speak with one of our uh, sales reps. Uh, our sales uh, coordinators and they will get you set up in the uh, the party and the new places coming up uh, the new facilities yes we have Denver uh, Colorado coming up uh, in June about mid-June then we have Atlanta end of June July and then North Carolina thank you very much again thank you guys bye all right bye-bye este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting